Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. It's actually 10.30 at night on Monday, December 7th. I'm starting this vlog. I wasn't gonna start even vlogging today at all because I was like, nothing really happened. I was just getting up. I let myself sleep in today because I really needed it. And then I worked from two to 10.30. So nothing really happened. <laughs> but I did want to say that I want all of you guys to stay as safe as possible because this virus is no joke and it's hitting people that I've known forever. Um, I keep seeing people on Facebook posting that they've gotten it. I hope everybody is staying as safe as possible because it's getting to be the winter time now and the holiday season and just more and more reason to like want to see people and gather and I just want all of you guys to stay as safe as possible. Um, and just if you have to work, just go to work and that's it or stay with people like less than, I think it's like less than 10 people and try to get people in your household if possible. It's just so scary. Or people that you've seen a lot lately, just as long as you know people are being safe and you trust them and uh, you are all doing the right thing because I do not want to see any one of my family and friends getting this virus um, in a really, really, really serious way. Because um, it's really scary, you know? It's very scary seeing, every day I see someone else posting that they got positive and I'm just like, no, this is not, this is not cool, it's not how it should be. So just please stay safe. This is my start of the vlog. Um, and uh, yeah, I love you all so, so much. And I really hope um, this virus goes away soon. And it should because there's a vaccine coming very, very soon, which I'm very happy about. And this lighting is really horrible right now. So I'm gonna stop and go home and go to bed and get my hair tamed. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, love you all, bye. Welcome to today, Tuesday. I hope you like my little montage of my morning because that's pretty much all I did. Um, get up, do my homework, have my coffee, work out, work on homework again, have my vitamins, do some makeup, and here we are. Um, I feel like doing makeup today. Not a whole lot, just a little bit, just at least make my face look a little bit better than it did originally. Um, I'm feeling great today though, feeling good. I've been running out of content to do for my vlogs because it's just been the same thing every day when it comes to working and stuff, so, and my classes. But I do have two weeks left of school that I'm done for two weeks, then I start the next term on January 4th. So, that'll be nice, I can do some Christmas stuff. Um, but, um, so I decided to start my vlog off that way today for a little bit. But, um, yeah, so I'm at work now gonna relax a little bit and go get my new costume for the week and then I guess that's it I will go talk to you guys after I get off work tonight okay bye Hi guys, what did you think of my favorite little friend that I bought last night at work? I was so excited when I bought that, I'm not gonna lie. I ran out and bought it last night and it was a very good gift. I love the child from The Mandalorian. I'm not gonna say his, what his name is because if you haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it. And The Masked Singer, which is the finales tonight, which I won't be able to watch with Brandon because I'll be working. So I'll probably watch it tomorrow. But my, my two shows right there, Mandalorian and Mass Singer. I discovered Mass Singer during quarantine, the first quarantine, like March time, March, April, and then Mandalorian when it came out. But yeah, so okay, so right now, the title of this vlog is about my holiday traditions. So I'm gonna talk about them now. But I wanted to be festive when I did it because let's face it, this year is not as festive as usual years because of 2020. So. 
I had a free drink apparently, not even from my rewards, but from um, this like Cyber Monday thing and it expires on the 13th, so I just used it today. And I got no judge because it's that time as a girl and I really, really wanted this and it's festive. Perfect time for me, for me to do my little holiday tradition thing, but I got this. Peppermint Mocha Frappuccino. I never get these. I never get whipped cream or anything like that on it. This is my lunch today for sure. So I'm gonna eat that or drink drink it, I guess. Sorry. While I talk about my traditions. Give me just one second. Oh yes. Ready to enjoy this. All right guys, taking the first sip together. Hold on. Let me, this is hard to do with one hand. Here we go. Mmm, mmm. My favorite time of the holidays. <laughs> Okay, so I figured I would do, it's kind of fun for me to go back and reminisce how I celebrated the holidays growing up. I remember, because I am Swedish, in case you didn't know, I am Swedish, and um, we used to go to this little town called Kingsburg in Central Valley, which is where I'm from, um, every December, like middle of December before Christmas. I remember this growing up literally every year we did this until we got older. Um, Santa Claus would come and give us gifts to all the cousins. And we would have the whole family, my dad's side. It was always really fun. And um, so hi guys, if you're watching this, all my Kingsburg family. Um, and uh, we would have this, like a big, big family dinner and hang out, talk about, you know, life and whatnot. And then um, Santa Claus would come at the end and give us all presents and tell us something that happened to us that, you know, only Santa would know. So that was really fun. But they had this thing called Swedish, like, um, Lutefisk and it was Swedish fish, but none of the kids ate it. <laughs> uh, um, and then we would go to Hanford, my mom's side of the family, and have Christmas over there as well. Usually, like the next day or like the next weekend, it was always the same thing. Um, seeing all my my mom's side of the family, which was always fun, like my great aunts, my cousins. We have a, a big family on both sides, so I'm I was close to everyone growing up, all the little kids, all the cousins, second cousins, all of that. So that was really fun getting to always see them. And my grandpa Byron actually played Santa Claus one year for us on that side of the family because no one ever, we never did Santa Claus then and we did Santa Claus um, there so uh, it was always a lot of fun. And then getting to see Santa or grandpa pretending to be Santa and, um, and then uh, Christmas Eve we'd always go to Grandma Carol's house. Always. She always have stockings for us and we'd always have her famous macaroni salad which i'm gonna make again sometime because i just absolutely love it maybe i'll vlog it one day grandma i'll vlog your macaroni salad so everyone can enjoy it um maybe i don't want to share i don't know we'll see we'll see how sharing i feel but um we always go to grandma carol's and we'd always um play the white elephant game which is like where you have to draw numbers and try to pick a present either you can either trade it with someone else or keep it so that was always a lot of fun and we would do that and then we would have presents after that and the family kept growing and growing and i got to take brandon one year which was really good um and a lot of fun you got to see my family um version of christmas how we celebrate and then uh we'd always go to my grandpa byron's house the next day and uh hang out with my dad's side of the family again and like my immediate family and like my aunt and uncle and stuff um my cousins um and we'd always like have a barbecue and do presents there and that was literally the traditions I had growing up which was really fun always with the grandparents always with the cousins and then as everyone got older things started to you had your own traditions your own thing and we didn't do it as much but those were my favorite things growing up like going to Grandma Carol's house Christmas Eve opening presents Christmas Day at our house and then going to Grandpa Byron's later we was there was like literally the same every year pretty much growing up when I was little up until we were like in our in high school like college age um, but it was always a lot of fun and I, I miss going there and stuff like that whenever um, Especially now it's so hard not seeing anyone except, you know, the people you live with which is great But it's just like I'm just really safe right now, but it's good to go back and reminisce um, uh, On the holiday traditions you had and um, Yeah, so that was a lot of fun doing that growing up and then we uh, Have our own traditions now that Brandon and I We'll see his family, we'll go to San Diego, but this year obviously we're gonna stay here, and so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, 
so I'm very excited to start my own traditions, you know, with Christmas and uh, starting next year, I guess, because this year you really can't do anything. But um, hopefully 2021 will be better. But uh, yeah, so what are your traditions that you guys did to celebrate the holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate? Um, comment down below if you would like. If not, that is totally cool too. Uh, but I would like to hear people's traditions, see if we had any similarities, any differences, all that good stuff. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy my my drink and play my game because I have to use my phone to play it and I'm filming on my phone. So, duh. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going to go to work and today is Wednesday. So two more days till Friday. Very happy. And tomorrow's payday, so even better. All right, guys, I will talk to you after work. Hope you enjoyed my little holiday tradition spiel. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, you guys, good morning. We have made it to Friday, thank goodness. Um, so basically, I'm exhausted right now. I got up at midnight last night and then I'm working at 10.30 today, so it's like a 10 and a half hour turnaround, which gives you not much time to sleep. So thankfully it is my Friday, I'm off the next two days, no alarm is being set at all, whatsoever. I will wake up when my body wants me to wake up. I think that's what I need. I've actually been, oh, I'm going to end this vlog um, after this clip because it's already pretty long and it's pretty much just about my holiday traditions I talked about. Um, but also. Uh, I've just been like an idiot. I've been getting up early, um, even when I have long night shifts, just to get my homework done and a workout in before work. And I think I'm going to stop doing that because I think it is really making me exhausted and it's not good for my mental health or physical health. I need my sleep. So I think I'm going to start um, not setting an alarm when I have a night shift and just get up when I get up and then just uh, have my coffee and then just start working on homework because and that's what I have to do because I've just been like so tired and so with these random shifts and I've just been a little scared also being out in the world with this virus going on and uh, doesn't add, doesn't help <laughs> to my um, already tired body. And I'm so thankful that we have a place to live now. Oh my God, like so thankful. Every day I wake up thankful for that. But it's just, I want to enjoy it. I don't want to be like tired all the time, you know? <laughs> and that's kind of what I feel like I am because of my schedule. So I'm going to try a new routine probably next week and see how it works. No alarm set. My body usually gets up just naturally anyway without like um, having to worry about being late. But I just want to be able to focus on school before work and then trying to get a workout in. But if I can't get a workout in, that's fine because my job technically is like a workout too with um, the amount of things I have to lift and like just back of house is definitely like exercise. And I'm getting my steps in constantly every day, which is great. Um, but... Uh, so I think I'm going to try that new routine next week and see if I can do it. Um, I just want to like be awake and more like alert for school and my life, you know. So it's like I don't want to keep getting up super early when I get up at midnight just so I can get things done and have my like little mor morning time. I can just cut that short. Um, but so we'll see how that goes in the next uh, vlog, but um, which will be next week. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I just kind of wanted to do some sort of holiday-esque talk in it because Christmas is in like two weeks. Um, oh, it is two weeks from today, actually. It's weird. Okay, never mind. So happy uh, almost Christmas <laughs> and happy Hanukkah um, to everyone who is celebrating. I think it just started yesterday. And um, yeah, so I think that is it. And I'm going to stop here because it's... Um, this vlog is already pretty long anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, please subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys next Saturday with another one. I love you so much. Thanks, guys. Bye!